Hello and welcome to Walk the Talk. I am Shekhar Gupta at Bangalore's Indian Institute of Science. My guest this week, Professor Venkatraman Ramakrishnan, Nobel Laureate for Chemistry, but also a physicist and a biologist. Yes, welcome although, to Walk the Talk. Although I have to say, no physicist would consider me a physicist today. Well, I think that's the problem with the business of science now. You don't know yeah. who is who. That's right. That, that is true. I think, the, as Balaram once uh, has said in a recent editorial, uh, the f boundaries in between the sciences have become much more fluid. Balaram right from here. Who's the director of the Indian in, Institute of and, Science. And a wonderful scientist yes, himself. Uh, 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 and what I like about him is he's very outspoken. Right. So, right. Uh, uh, so, uh, so boundaries are all breaking up. You, they, you don't, you they, don't are, know they are, yes, because uh, techniques from one discipline are now uh, routinely being applied to other disciplines. And, so, and I would say biology is at the receiving end of a lot of this. In a, in a happy way. In a happy way, yes. Because you get the benefit of imaging, yes. math, and, psychology. And physical techniques. And physical and so techniques, yes. Yeah. So all of these have been very useful in biology, that's true. Right. And, uh, and you should know how, uh, how one thing leads to another, and you know how people discover their own calling you. Yes, uh, it's true. You're the father of a brilliant musician and a yes. also the father-in-law of one. Yes, that's true. And uh, I have to say, my son was a physics undergraduate, but right. he, his love was always the cello. So, uh, you know, I, th I, I joke that he treated physics as his hobby when he was in college and really focused on music. And uh, anyway, um, you know, he's a happy musician, I hope. So. Yeah, but <laughs> that's the good thing. You can, you, you can find your calling because, because science is a good beginning. Yes, that's true. I mean, I've, I'm sometimes happy to say that about myself, although I'm not sure. I, you know, I was yeah. the, uh, I'm of a generation of Indians uh, yeah. who was forced, forced to study science. I, my feeling is that even if you're not a scientist, you really should have a, a certain minimum education in science because we live in a highly technical society. And uh, how do you know that the right decisions are being made by your government or you know, people around you and so on? You know, we talk about pollution or global warming or things. How do you uh, even judge whether these things are, are meaningful or not? And I think if you have a f fundamental background in science, you know, even at the sort of high school level, uh, it does help you come to grips with these problems instead of just taking somebody's word for it. And, you know, and by the same logic, you also need a fundamental background in liberal arts, humanities, because, you know, a lot of a lot of kids, particularly in India, yes. go straight from school to IIT and yes, then spend all true. their lifetimes with science. Yes. I, I, I grew up in the Indian system, as you know, uh, yes. so I unfortunately had the same problem in that I was forced to choose uh, between science and humanities in high school. And once you choose and, and one, once you you're choose, part of the other. Right. But I'm making up for it. I, I, I'm actually studying Spanish. Uh, now and I actually have to take an exam in January. So, so I'm making up for it uh, as an adult. You know, I mean, through my are hobbies. you uh, are you hooked on to exams? Is that your fix? I mean, <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, well, I think people ask me. Why, most why, of us are very are happy taking, to get rid of them. Why are you taking an exam? People ask me. But I found that if I just study Spanish on the side and there isn't some goal, I have so much work in my daily life and I have so many other interests that I never managed to actually put in the time. But having a, a sort of deadline or a goal somehow motivates me.